Hello and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. I'm Zelda Master and in the previous episode, we went hunting for gems and collected a bunch of them. And in this episode, we're going to be making our way back to the Temple of the Ocean King and getting ourselves the final sea chart so we can unlock the north eastern quadrant of the Great Sea and see what's in there and stuff and, you know, get the final pier medal and all of that cool stuff, guys. So, are you ready? Uh, I sure am because this is going to... This is going to be really hard. As I said in the previous episode, this uh, Ocean Temple King run, wow, I mixed up the words. The Temple of the Ocean King, this run, will be really difficult, and you're going to see why. Um, so let's go ahead and check out our mail before we go to the Temple of the Ocean King. You know, let's stall it out a bit, because, you know, I'd like to wait a little bit. I don't really know. But anyways, from Beetle, ahem, here goes. All right, oh yeah, because I purchased a really big item from Beetle. Um, well, future me did in the previous episode, if you saw the way end of the previous episode. So, yeah, we have two golden ship parts, and let's see what Beetle's gonna say. So, uh, thanks for supporting my stores, whoop-de-doo. Alright, we are 50 from buying that one thing. I think we got, like, 10 points from buying one piece of the ship. And we get ourselves another freebie. Oh, this is a compliment uh, card. Okay, so I guess this one's different. We'll check out what that does. I think that gives us maybe half off. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really read the letter, but we can always check in our collection. So let's see what that does. Oh, don't, okay, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so we just got this complimentary card. Not too shabby. Let's go ahead and look at our ship real quick. And as you can tell, yes, it has the golden railings as, long, as well with the uh, golden bridge. So cool stuff uh, hopefully we'll have a full golden ship by the end of this let's play but anyways everybody let's go ahead and make our way to the temple of the ocean king and i'm gonna ignore that guy he may be yelling at us you know telling him to telling us to head over to him but he's gonna tell us something we already know so there's really no point to talk to this man or anything but yeah guys let's go ahead and make our way all the way to the temple of the ocean king i'm actually excited because uh, this is gonna be pretty tough as I said several times, so I want to see how well I can uh, do it um, Anyways, we could head inside this uh, Portal that will take us to the midway point and this will be so much easier and everything and stuff But I'm starting it from the beginning because a couple gems we can obtain with our new um, Grappling hook and bomb chews we got from the previous two dungeons. Yeah, we haven't been here and between those dungeon runs so now it's time to use them for uh, shortcuts and things and really see how they will aid us in the temple of the ocean king at least in the beginning floors so let's go ahead and get started we have 18 minutes 18 is pretty good uh, we're most likely gonna use all of it uh, hopefully we'll have like five minutes to spare anything I don't know I want to do a good run of course because I am Zelda master so uh, you know don't expect me to do really poorly I mean I think the only problem that I might screw up in is um getting hit by the swift phantoms because i tend to to do that a lot but anyways i'm gonna stand here i'm wasting some time but it's for good reasoning let's go ahead and sn snipe this guy okay he didn't stop whatever let's just go ahead and hit this and now we have to make our way all the way to that chest in a certain amount of time uh as you can tell you can hear like that buzzer in the background kind of letting you know that it will disappear real shortly so yeah i went ahead and got myself the courage gem and that's pretty much it uh, i believe we can leave this area let's see if there's anything else important you know i'm gonna check what's in here because i'm rather curious i don't believe i ever went up here okay just some bombs whatever uh hopefully we don't get caught oh we have gotten caught but it's okay uh since we are pretty far ahead they won't chase us that long let's go ahead and grab our bombs throw it this way not wait for it to explode or anything. I just rather jab it with my sword so I can continue on because we're spending almost a minute on this one floor, which is pretty bad because it's the very first floor. But I got myself a gem, so I guess it was worth it. And now that we have the small key, we can advance into the second floor of the Temple of the Ocean King. Um, I think this is what gave me the most trouble when I first played this game was like these this run and the previous run. They got really difficult. Okay, wow. I just realized I, I went rather crazy here um, with with the decorating of the maps. But anyways, let's go into a spin attack. Hit this. 
wait for this guy to run over there. Let's go ahead and pull the switch. We've done this several times before now. Um, and I'm doing this for good reasoning, of course, because we do need to grab that key. And I want to make my way down here for something else. Now, as you can tell, there's an area we haven't yet explored over here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Ooh, some extra time as well as a bomb chew area. What you want to do is go ahead and leave your bomb chew all the way over to this switch. And get ready to run real fast. I'm going to start running now. I <laughs> didn't really get a head start there, but whatever. I want to start running because there's a chest that will appear for a short period of time, just like the other one. And I believe we get ourselves another gem. Uh, I think that that's the biggest problem about the Temple of the Ocean King, because they have gems that you're required to get. Now, you don't have to get them to complete the game, but, you know, for 100% completion, you have to go through the Temple of the Ocean King, you know, several times to get all of the gems you want to get. So that makes it a little annoying but whatever we went ahead and got ourselves um this gem and now it's time to advance luckily that 30 second uh pot golden pot thing we got really helped us out there um because now it's like only one minute has passed so far when in reality it's been like a minute and a half or maybe two minutes because you know when stepping on the purple safe zone no time flies but in real time it does i mean we can't get this time back i wish Life was like this game where you can just get back seconds of your life um, by finding pots and breaking them and, and picking up s sand of ours. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's weird. Okay, I gotta hurry here. Okay, I really need to make sure this uh, swift phantom falls in here. Okay, blip. <sighs> Goodbye, <laughs> sucker. And now I want to get myself something else. So we're gonna go ahead and. Yeah, try to catch my butt now, dude. I actually want this guy to follow me for, for good reasoning, of course. They are actually ridiculously fast. You're going to need to, like, roll quite a bit if you want to make it. Now, I'm going to wait over here. Uh, I'm so lucky that that gust of air was actually blowing because, like, it goes in a pattern. It's, like, three seconds it's off and then three seconds is on. So I would have most likely got hit if it didn't start blowing. But anyways, I want to do this because I believe, yes, a chest appears just by doing that. So let's go ahead and check it out. I don't know if it's anything important. Is it? No, it's just pink coral. Whatever. Still, this is just going to make this room a whole bunch easier now that uh, both of the phantoms have been defeated. So I can easily maneuver around this room without worrying about getting caught or anything. Phantoms are easy to avoid. I think it's the phantom eyes that get more annoying because... They move a lot faster, they spot you easier, and they stick on you. And you'll see what I mean later on of how annoying they can really get. Because if you think currently that's annoying, it gets even more annoying, trust me. But let's go ahead and pick up this small key, because, you know, they help us out. Still don't understand why they call it small key. I guess just because they call the boss door, you know, sometimes they call the boss key big key. So I guess that's understandable, but I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense because the keyhole's so big. I mean, look at that. Okay, you see that keyhole? And look at the small key we put into it. How does Link, like, unlock anything? It makes no sense. But maybe that's just, like, a painted black thing around it. I don't really know. Um, and maybe the keyhole's actually, like, this really small circle in the middle of that uh, big black keyhole symbol thing. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but whatever. Uh, we're doing good on time, I guess. I mean, a little slower than I wanted it to be, but it's all in good measures. Uh, it's weird. I don't really say that. It actually sounds corny, but whatever. Let's go ahead and pick up this final force gem. Remember when this was our very first run in the Temple of the Ocean King? This was considered a lot. This was like the hardest room, because uh, this was going to be the final room for, I believe, the second sea chart. And right now we're doing it within like two minutes tops and it's really easy and everything. It's just crazy how much the items help you and I think that's uh, why people dislike this game because they don't know how much the items actually help you. They just think they have to go through the whole temple and do all the same puzzles in the same routine without anything, you know, helping you, like making it easier as time goes on. But it does get a lot easier. Anyways, it's time for phase two, and then there's another phase, and then there's going to be a fourth phase, which will be the new one, of course, that we haven't yet explored. 
So let's go ahead and get started. Um, here we have these gust jars just blowing everywhere. Luckily, if we hit this eye, uh, it will stop them immediately, so we don't have to worry about that. As you can see, that's a really good example of how items help you. See, uh, if we didn't have the, the boomerang, or not boomerang, but um, whatever, we would have had to hit switches, and it would have just been a big hassle, and and yeah, who would have wanted to do that? But I want to go ahead and open this, hit this switch, so we can unlock a key, as well as, I wonder if I can hit bo these, uh, these guys with my bomb chews. Let's try. Oh, it works. Okay. It's pretty cool. All right now I'm going to try to do this, guys. Let's see if this actually reaches. Oh, it does. Holy crap. The max range, guys. That's crazy how it reached. And now it's going to give us a shortcut, but we still need the small key um, that's in the area that we unlocked. Oh, yeah, and by doing that, another phantom appears. So that's what we get for getting caught. Oh, yeah. There's something else you can do. I believe if they... Okay. There we go. We can also hit them, just like that, if they stick on you for too long. After you rub, you just quickly want to jab them before they fly away. Because once they fly away, yeah, you can't hit them, but... Anyways, let's go ahead and just wait a bit. So instead of going through here, which we normally would have went through, we're going to go through here, and you're going to see what that gives us. Trust me, it's a much better area to take. Um, because it saves you a bunch of time, so that's honestly pretty cool. Uh, I don't think there's anything in that red pot. Usually in the red pots in, in the Temple of the Ocean King, they give you a small purple surface to stand on so you can be safe. But yeah, remember this room where you have to like fight enemies and work your way all the way over here? Well, now you don't have to do that. You start through here, and you get to grab... A cool I believe we get ourselves a gem from doing this as well so it's kind of mandatory I mean if you want more of a challenge you could take it the other way but you're gonna be missing out on this gem which is actually a treasure map it's still a gem because it's amazing and now what we want to do is go ahead and re-hit this switch so the gust starter can reactivate and blow ourselves to the other side uh, just like we've done in the temple of wind which was pretty fun all right now we're in this room this room is actually really simple not really much to it, because uh, we already know what we need to draw. We're actually going to be drawing a Triforce. But before anything, I'm going to go ahead and hit this guy. Hopefully, they lose vision of me. And we're going to go ahead and grab this, another treasure map. Now, I think that's pretty much all we want to get. We can just now rush, rush our way to the curtain door thing where we're going to be drawing the Triforce. I don't think there's anything else important. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else. So... We have to draw a Triforce instead of the Phantom Hourglass. Now watch how uh, easy this is. As long as you do this one stroke, just like that, you can you can do anything. I'm going to go and scribble. And, oh, okay, may maybe I went over overboard here. Okay, I'm, but I'm not going to try to draw a Triforce after I do this. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to start scribbling until this goes out, and let's see if it works. Nope, okay, well, th that goes that. I've done it before. I don't know why it's not working. Now I'm just going to keep screwing. Okay, that worked. It, that didn't look like a Triforce. I'm just saying, like... Wait. It appears for just a moment. Maybe you drew the wrong shape. Wow. I'm getting this wrong all the time. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to draw the Triforce. Alright. You know what? This is such a bad Triforce. It's going to work this time, though, because... Uh, okay. So, lots of fails for some reason. Because I'm trying something different, but let's just go ahead and draw the normal Triforce they want you to draw, just like this. And it should work pretty well. There we go. Alright, I don't know why I was trying different things. I guess I just wanted to show you as long as you draw the first stroke um, that is on the left, you can pretty much mess it up and, and it will still open the door. But the game proved me wrong and I'm glad it did. So you have to kind of try to draw the Triforce or you will be denied. Um... And I kind of deserve that for just messing around and, yeah, I gave it to me wrong every single time. But, let's go ahead and start this area. We're doing really good on time, I just realized that. Because after this area, there's only one more area and we're done. I don't know what made me think this was going to be so hard. I guess it's just like memory. And I have this down pretty well. So yeah, this chest is going to give us, I believe, one of the gems, or crystals rather. They aren't gems this time. 
and we'll be able to advance easily like this so that's awesome let's go ahead and pick up some more time and we can actually I believe just avoid this whole route here we don't even have to look at it whatsoever uh, but I believe there's an important chest we need to pick up over here if we go ahead and hit this you know I don't want to hit that switch yet I want to kill this guy right here let's see if we can get him I want to kill this guy because he, he's just gonna make it so much di more difficult if he's not dead so let's go ahead and hit him and we've done this before normally you're not supposed to kill the phantoms of course but if you're able to push him to the side oh can he not enter the purple zone wait let's try shooting him with arrows oh my god he can't I don't think he can okay whatever that's fine I guess we just have a shorter period of time to do this so we can't kill him like that sadly but it's okay we'll still be able to get this as long as that phantom doesn't see me just gonna go and pick up this and throw it all right sweet we got ourselves a power gem nice now what we want to do is make our way all the way back down let's be careful we don't want to make too much noise because this floor will cause some noise so we want to grab this crystal run our way luckily you don't have to hit them on the back if they're already stunned you can easily just use your uh, sword to re-stun them for that certain duration so that's pretty cool all right we made it through pretty easily actually I don't know I thought we had to kill him to make it a lot easier but it seems that I was wrong once again and we can easily run our way through without much problems here um, I think this is easily gonna give us access to something let's see what this does I mean now that we have the bomb to why not use it oh, okay automatically opens the door so we don't even have to grab the um, I believe the triangle crystal piece which is in this floor I mean by going through here and then putting it in here that would remove these spikes and we would have been able to hit the switch that would have opened the door so we don't have to do all of that craziness what we can do now is just easily grab this and take it straight to the other side so let's do that uh, I just need to stun the swift fandom so he doesn't get in my way or just wait for him to walk around I'm just gonna walk around like this shouldn't be too difficult oh you know what that was the worst idea ever crap okay uh, sorry if I start yelling at these moments it's just it kind of freaks me out when a phantom chases me I don't know that's just how it is but yeah now we lost time man I didn't want to get hit at all because now that we got hit we ruined it guys we ruined the perfect run but whatever nevertheless we'll do fine um, but I want what I wanted to do before I got hit and rudely interrupted I want to make my way over here and now we just need to grab the triangle crystal which is right here and there we go that does that we grab the final which is a square one from the phantom that's in the floor under us and we're pretty much done so let's go ahead and hit this we can use that as a shortcut I'm gonna make my way up here because I believe I found this Oh, he noticed something. All right, we're good. Let's just uh, sneak our way past here. Want to go ahead and throw this over and up, just like that. Now this is a little bit difficult, but if you don't want to walk all this way to head inside this door with both of the crystals, you can do this. I'm gonna show you because if you throw it like this it's automatically gonna fall I mean there is a pathway right right where I throw it but it's not gonna land on it because it's invisible so the game doesn't want to like trick you or anything so go ahead and do this way I'll show you how to do it easily okay it's just failing a little bit but there we go all right we got it sweet now let's go ahead and rinse and repeat that uh, with the what's it called circle crystal thing and we'll be ready to inside the final room and take on the new set of levels or new set of I guess levels of the place yeah so so far so good let's go ahead and throw this really quickly hopefully that's when phantom doesn't turn nope he's turned his course this is bad um crap uh, he's gonna pick that up isn't he he's gonna see me from here isn't he oh I I think I'm caught wait Please don't see me, please. Have mercy. No! Alright, let's just jump down. 
Ah, made it out. All right, now we just have to wait for him to walk all the way back here, and we'll just shoot him with our bow and pick up that triangular piece, and we'll be done. But now we have to wait because we got caught. Kind of deserved that. I should have just waited here from the beginning and shot him in the back, had him stunned, and then ran my way. But um, soon, you know, we'll be able to kill these phantoms instead of just, like, running away from them and only being able to stun them. But anyways, let's go ahead and pick this up and take it down. Drop this one like so. Run up. Grab another one and take it down. Okay, now what I want to do is have these guys who are going to try to chase you, these Reaplings, chase me. Make sure they're not in a endless pit area because if they are, their sand of hours are going to fall into the endless pit and you won't be able to pick it up. So it's a little important that you do that. <laughs> Going to hit this one. This one should automatically shoot right into the Reapling's eyes. Now, uh, wow, he's actually going to walk this way. Okay, let's sneak up behind this guy. I can actually kill him. I believe I can just knock him off of an endless pit if I wanted to. Oh, okay. So far, so good. You just got to sneak my way through here. If I start getting hasty, I'll screw myself over. So that's why you don't want to do that. You just got to be patient. It's really the key to everything. All right, we're good. Now I believe I can just run my way over here. Let's see if I can hit this guy. Nope. I'll just have him continue chasing me. And once he gets close enough, I'll just shoot him with the arrow. Luckily on the map, we can just easily see where the Reapling is. So we don't really have to worry, oh, too much. Let me see. Wait, does it? Whoa, it does really creepy noise when he gets near you. All right. There we go, we got him. Wait, what? He didn't give me any sand of hours. That's weird. Eh, it's not like I needed it. All right. Wait, what? That missed him? You know, I don't even care. I just want to rush my way through here and get this over with and done. And take on a new section of the Temple of the Ocean King. Because I'm just excited to show art, really. Um, I don't think there's anything too important here as well. So let's go ahead and drop him in no particular order. I'm just going to drop him like this from right to left. Um, for a reason, of course, and you're going to see why. So, now we're going to enter through here, which we've been here before, and we got ourselves, you know, the third C chart and all of that stuff, but what do we do now? Let's go ahead and check out the skeleton. So, set the crystals on the pedestals in this order. Square, circle, triangle, going down, the exit is this way, okay? Square, circle, triangle. Hmm, I think he's talking about these ones. So square, circle, triangle. All right, the door is opening just like it was, huh? Well, I think that guy was wrong. Wait a second. Whoa. Seems like there's an earthquake. What's going on? Feels like something moved outside. Well, I wonder what it is, guys. It seems like this area has sunk down. Let's go ahead and exit. And, <gasps> yes, we are in B10. A new floor. So, by placing them in that order, um, we had that other room act like an elevator. And it took us all the way down. And now there's a new area to discover here in the Temple of the Ocean King. All right, let's get started, guys. We have over 10 minutes to do this, and that's way more than enough, actually. I didn't expect to have this much time on me, so let's go ahead and see what we can do. So there are more phantoms, and yeah, we haven't seen these phantoms before. Look at their icons. They look rather creepy. Anyways, we got some... Actually, I'm not even gonna... I'm just gonna ignore this section here. I'm not gonna... Ha oh, what? What? No, no, no. Bad idea. Okay, so... Newsflash, guys, if a phantom sees you or a phantom eye spots you, the phantoms that are far away from you are going to teleport towards you. Yeah. Crazy, right? That's how it works. Or we got him leaking, or rather searching this area, which is pretty good. I want to hit this guy. Just like that. They get stunned like every other phantom, though. They may have the ability to teleport, but... That doesn't really mean much. Now, what I want to do is hit this real quick. That will stop that from moving. And that's really good for a specific reason. And you're going to see why. But anyways, let's go ahead and run away over here. 
I believe that's actually no, we want to make a way over here. Never mind. As you can see, yeah, this part looks a little bit different than the others. It's slightly lighter than it should be. But, anyways, let's go ahead and just wait for this guy to appear. Smack him right in the face. Hit this switch. And now both of the spikes on both sides have been deactivated, which is really good for us. Why? Well, you're going to see in just a bit now. I'm just going to quickly run over here before that phantom notices me or anything. And I shall quickly run all the way up once he passes through this section. So, <laughs> all right, I want to run really fast for a specific reason, and you're going to see why. Hopefully, I can make it before he gets out of that confusion. Nope, we haven't made it. Now, the reason why is because if I push this boulder down these stairs, it's going to run in a straight line. And if the phantom's on that line, hmm, I wonder what will happen. Well, we're going to figure out when this phantom changes course. So I'm just going to actually take the time and run to the other side, I guess. I could easily do that, honestly, and do the exact same thing. Let's see if we do it to this phantom because he's actually on the line. Yep, he'll get crushed just like that. So boulders can kill phantoms. Sadly, arrows, bombs, swords, and everything else cannot. So I guess maybe that will be able to kill Bellum as well. We just have to crush him with boulders. I wonder, I'm kidding. That's, that's not how it works, guys. <laughs> you need, obviously, the secret sword made of the secret materials. All right, should I push it now? Oh, he's going to start turning, isn't he? Crap. Wait, no, you know what? He's going through a bomb. He's not listening. Crap. Okay, he caught me. Let's get him running after me. Come on, you're too slow. Get chasing, bro. Alright. Let's try to do this now. Ah, uh, come on. This is this is taking way too long. I want to kill this guy. Well, seems like you're going to have to wait again. Man, a minute has passed, and I'm just trying to kill this one phantom. Now, there's really no point to kill him. I just want to make it a lot easier when running through this ridiculous maze right here. Um, so, when those phantom eyes do catch me, I don't have to worry about a phantom teleporting towards me and hitting me and having me start right at the beginning of the door. Not saying that I will get caught or anything by those phantom eyes, but, just, you know, I feel like I'll feel a lot safer and stuff plus I believe I got myself like a hundred rupees by destroying these guys so yeah it just appears for doing that so that's kind of why I did it as well but anyways let's go ahead and make our way down here and now that we have this small key we can uh, just advance actually we don't really the small key will help us advance at the end of this whole maze but what I want to do is oh let's be careful Luckily, these bomb shoes don't just randomly hit the wall. Doesn't matter how you do it, you'll be fine. Just gotta set the bomb shoe to the right direction. Okay, sweet. I don't believe you have to run all the way to the opposite side. If you have a grappling hook, we can easily do that. And just head through here, like so, which is pretty nice. Now, let's go ahead and spot this phantom eye and kill it before it notices me. Let's do the same with the other one after we step on the switch. Because now we have access to here, as well as the chest, from killing all of them. Phantoms. Look at that. A big rupee. Alright. Uh, we have to wait for him to start uh, attaching or trying to grab us. Alright, sweet. There we go. Another chest appears. I'll show you what's in that after I pick up this extra time that seems to be lying right over here. So let's do that. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Alright, now we can easily leave this room. I believe there's nothing else for us to do. But grab that chest for killing all the phantom eyes, so I'm going to do that real quick. To grab that chest, of course, is to make your way all the way down here. Actually use this pole to take you to this side and open it like so. There's actually more time right here, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. That's another 30 seconds. Definitely worth it, because it's not going to take me 30 seconds to make my way to this door and unlock it. So, yeah. So far, so good. That's the first room, guys. There are two more rooms to go, and we'll be done for this time, of course. There's still another time in stores, but here we go. All right, so this one isn't as difficult. There's actually an easy way to cheap through it, and you'll see what I mean by that. Crap, wasn't ready for that. Now we're just going to have all these phantoms teleport towards me and, and try to cause drama. 
And I'm running for that Phantom Eye to reappear. Okay, sweet. All right, let's go ahead and stand like this. And that was way too early. Oh, geez. Sweet. Okay, we got him. Let's go ahead and hit this one as well. I don't know. Phantom Eyes are just so much scarier than Phantoms, dude. It's okay, though. All right, let's be careful, though. Let's not get caught. Let's pull the switch. Now, a bridge will appear like so. What this bridge does is it makes it easier to head from one side to another of these high pathways and stuff. But, what you'll notice... Oh, man! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, sorry. Um, I... Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, maybe I'm, I'm more scared of phantoms than I am of phantom eyes. Never mind. I don't, I don't flip out like that when a phantom eye catches me. But, like, by hitting these switches, we'll be able to, uh, make a bridge for a certain period of time. Now, as you can tell, it's, yeah, it's only for a short period here. You don't need the bridge. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tell you that. Oh, man, not again. And the reason why you don't need the bridge is, well, you'll see. Basically, what we want to do is step on four, like, switches, and they're all on these high platforms. Like, this one, this one, this one. Oh, actually, I think it's this one, this one, this one, and this one. This is the one in between that will have bridges leading to them. So far, there are two bridges here. You're going to have to activate the other two bridges like that. But, I'll show you how to do it without activating the bridges, which will make this a lot easier. All right, let's just go ahead and take care of these guys because I don't want to deal with them. And how to do so is, well, to head up here like this and to use your grappling hook to grab on to these switches. Now, we can't read from this side, but if you go ahead and read this, it will say some on the four switches upon the, at atop the four platforms, just like that. So, yeah, and each one has the same stone slab that tells you the same thing. So instead of using this bridge, we could have easily done this and stepped on the switch. I don't know if they programmed, like, I don't think if they wanted you to figure this out, but it's a thing and it's useful and you should definitely use it to help you out. So, yeah, just suck it. Oh, man. And this guy's going to slow me as well. Um, Anything? Oh, jeez, whoa. You're going to have to keep running and trying to avoid these guys. Uh, Actually, there's a shovel here. Ah, okay, we're good. <laughs> we're, we're done, guys. Whew. Man, this room is pretty scary, I'll be honest. Alright, we hit this one. Let's go ahead and hit the final one by stepping on this. We're gonna hook onto this instead of use the bridges, because we're too cool for bridges. And that opens this door, and there we go. Alright, so we have eight minutes to spare, and we'll be able to take on the final room. Pretty happy with this uh, so far, guys. We're doing good. I'm actually surprised we're doing this well. So, yeah. All right. So this room is pretty difficult. I don't know why, but I got a feeling I have uh, like there's a clue up ahead. Okay. This one is really difficult. This is the hardest room, of course. Why? Well, you're going to see why. Um, we're gonna have to get all of the gems, of course, and we don't want these phantom eyes, obviously, to spot us so they don't cause drama because that's what they tend to do but okay so yeah there's, there's a phantom that's gonna be running around here and you know he has his um gem and everything you know he's holding his own but there's a gem here and here so those are all three that will open up this door because we're gonna have to put him on the pedestals and stuff now what makes this room difficult is taking all of those gems to that area. Let's go ahead and check out what this guy has to say. So, there were only a few phantoms, so I let my guard down. I should have prepared a safe place from the beginning. I think he's kind of telling you that you should place that um, thing in a safe area. Because if we go ahead and open up this chest that gives us a force gem, yeah, one's going to appear. So, surprise! Gotta be careful. How are we going to do this? Well, we can easily just stun him. As long as he looks the right direction. Hopefully he looks back. Okay, there we go. And then we can go ahead and run really quickly. And we'll have a safe zone just in case. I'm going to throw this here. And st stand right here so he doesn't notice me. Alright, he resets his course of action. Now, we're just going to wait so we can quickly run our way all the way down here and pick up this one. And then we'll run all the way back and, you know, we'll maybe place it here. 
and try to, you know, go through this Phantom to place all three Forest Gems into their places. L but the only hard part really is, um, getting past that Phantom. But luckily I just stunned him. So you know what? While I'm at it, let's go ahead and stun him again. Throw this one. Alright, you know what? There's only one Forest Gem to take back. Sweet! So it's not that hard. I'm just going to place this one to get him done with. And we'll just have to go through one more Phantom and this one to take the final one. Now you should realize a uh, freaking... I, I believe every time you place a Forest Gem, a Rapling appears. So, yeah. Luckily, we are currently... Oh, jeez, no! We currently had that Phantom stunned, so yeah, we're good. Alright, let's just wait for him to go away. And then quickly hit this Rapling! Alright. Let's wait for the other Rapling. We just have to look a different direction. And there we go. Get ourselves a chest. Which I'm just going to ignore right now. Actually, you know, I'm going to try to pick that up just after I do this real quick. So one more. We should have to make our way through this phantom. Now this phantom is different. This is a swift phantom, unlike the blue phantom that's on the other side. So he doesn't look just two directions, but that actually makes him easier because now he's looking this way and I can easily run as fast as I possibly can. Well, I'm not really running, but I can easily walk as fast as I possibly can to the other side. Now we just have to get through that one last golden phantom once more and we are done with this, guys. Uh, but obviously there's more of the Temple of the Ocean King in this game, so don't think you're done yet. Let's go ahead and hit this guy real quick and just run past him. Ah, please don't catch me, because if he does catch you, the fire um, right in front of this stairway will be blocking the entrance, so that's going to suck. Now, I believe I want to pick up that chest. It's going to be a little risky, but I mean I have seven minutes left, so who cares? Let's just go ahead and start running. La, la, la. Wow, the, he didn't even notice me either. Alright, let's see what's inside here. Rupees would fit. Oh my god, it's a bright hull. Okay. So worth it. At first I'm like, this ain't worth it, but it, it was. Okay, now, I'm actually going to have these guys chase me like this. And then I'm going to stand here. This is my chance. Oh man, that Swift Phantom ran all the way over there, really? That's ridiculous. Okay. Could I not stun him? <laughs> We're good. Woohoo. That was close. Man, seven minutes to spare. All right. As you can tell, the time is still counting, but we're done. Don't worry, there's really nothing else in this room. I'm just going to hit all of the jars just because I can. And... But now I said we're only going to have like five minutes to spare or something, but not even. We had seven minutes, and I kind of messed up quite a bit. But there we go, the northeastern, I said northwestern, my bad. Uh, the northeastern place has been activated, and now we are set. So, we did it, Link. This is the last chart, the northeastern uh, corner. We can head high seas and do cool stuff. All right. Sounds good, Ciela. Um, so, that is that. Let's go ahead and show you what lies left here. There's this. So, what a big door. How could we open it? Is that really it? Or how do we open it? That's all Ciela has to say. Literally nothing else. She's not even going to consider. She just wants to leave this area. I think she's happy that we obtained the final seed chart. So, you know, I am too. There we go, guys. Let's go ahead and leave this place. And, yeah, it didn't take that long. Uh, I don't know how long this episode was, but I'm pretty sure it was pretty long because we went through a good chunk of the 18 minutes we had in our Phantom Hourglass. And, yeah... So there we go, we got the final C chart, guys. The majority of the Temple of the Ocean King has been out of the way. And now we can explore the final temple that will give us the final piece of the pyramid and all of that cool stuff. But before I end off this episode, I want to make my way all the way to the shipyard and quickly put on the new bright hull we got. I mean, it's not the hull we want. We want the golden hull, but I want to check it out. So let's go ahead and customize our ship. Go to hull and put on the bright one. I believe that's right now the only thing we have. Yeah, attach. Our ship is looking mighty fine. Oh, wait. We have a new... Th oh, that looks so cool. All right. That's actually awesome. Let's, let's see what other uh, wheel we have. Is that the only wheel we have? We have normal wheels and simple. Okay, I'm fine with that. 
Man, this is awesome. All right, you know what? Before I end off the episode as well, I'm going to do something else. You know, let's do some RPG-ish things that you don't normally do in Zelda, or at least I don't normally do when Let's Playing. And that's check out what Z Beetle has, because I, I want to buy some stuff. Let's see what this complimentary card is going to give us at Beetle's place. If it gives us anything cool, then I'd be rather happy. So let's go ahead and stop by Beetle before I end off this episode and see if we can buy something, guys. I mean, we've... We've done pretty well in the Temple of the Ocean King. I think I deserve a treat for Lineback's ship. So it's not really a treat for me, but still, you can look at it how you want to look at it. <laughs> I'm still going to enjoy this a whole bunch. Uh, I really wish we got a freebie card, though. That would have been so much cooler if we got another one. I believe we're going to get another one in the future, though. So, yeah, hopefully we do. Let's see what Beetle has to offer here. Oh, man, he has that gem. Okay. Want to use a complimentary card? Sweet. Okay, here it goes. You are the best. That's it. He gives us a compliment? You're the best. You're the best. And one more for good luck. You're the best. Have a few. And that's it. How did it make you feel? Happy? That was the worst thing ever. That complimentary card sucked. Jeez. See what you have to sell. I'm not. I don't have money to buy any of this. Oh, you. I have money to buy that. That actually is a really cool looking cannon. Let's see what this is. Ah, uh, he sells another golden rail. Uh, I I own one. So, as cool as this is, I don't need it. Hopefully, you sell another golden part to this ship later on. But, whoa, the regular ring is a lot more expensive than last time. But okay, I guess it's a lot more special now. <laughs> but hey, we got ourselves a new uh, cannon, which I will also adjust uh, off screen, I guess. And in the next episode, we're going to make our way to the new region of the map and have some fun. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda. Phantom Hourglass, I'm in Zelda Master, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye. Wait. Bye. Yeah, there we go. Spin attack. Let's keep doing it until we get dizzy. Whoa.